having the new zone this year is awesome. Pretty sick, like getting here and there's nothing built. You have a lot more options. You can go anywhere you want. It has all fresh dirt. These are all brand new lines. Like this year is just pretty much straight down. Like it's pretty scary. It's not like it's not like last year. Super exposed and there's no mistakes. This year, like you need to be on it 100 percent It's gonna be a bit gnarly than last year for sure. It's gonna be pretty fun to watch and hopefully everyone makes it down to the bottom on a safe way, man. Time for Rampage has almost arrived. A year's training will come down to the remaining two weeks. Tom, Bass, and Ozzy start their pilgrimage south from Kelowna to Utah. Drove for two days pretty much straight. Went pretty quick. Me and Bass just switched off. Ozzy was sleeping in the back. It was super mellow. Made a few stops. We stopped for some fireworks, and we just had a really fun drive. It was awesome. Meanwhile, Andreu and Borden have already made the journey and are getting as much time as they can in Utah's red dirt. King Kong! Do this! Woo. Get it going. Go. Super fun riding with Robbie. Like back on the old days when I was riding with Kona bikes with him, so super fun. We've been having a blast. King Kong is pretty much like one of my favorite trails. It's like pretty much like a free ride line that you can shuttle. I've been just doing like a couple laps a day, every day for the last 10 days pretty much. So it's been pretty good. Back at the campsite, Tom and his crew have arrived. <laughs> we have a pretty dull setup here. Huge, like, 12-person tent. Real mattresses in there, not just the little air things. So it's pretty comfy. It's finally time to see 2014's new Rampage venue. Look, at, if you fall this year, you're up. After a year of being excited for the Canyon Gap, Tom struggles with its run-in. We're hoping to just build a unique line into it, like come down from here and go down this. It's gonna be pretty freaking steep and gnarly, but if we make it not sketchy, then it should work. When you've been to as many rampages as Kyle Strait, you start to develop small pre-game rituals. For Kyle, one of these rituals started two weeks earlier in Costa Mesa. Last year, I got a new lid for Rampage and then kind of set it up the same way this year. Each year, Kyle develops a custom-painted helmet with his friend's father. I go over a lot of the, the paint design uh, with, with Johnny Sage and do all that stuff, but kind of just give him a couple colors and ideas and let him run with it. I mean, he does a great job every time. Still getting painted right now and should be here by the uh, contest. I'm going to start packing my, my bag for the day here. Fill up some water, fill up some snacks, and then get on out there to start digging for the day. It's very open out there, and you can kind of pick and choose where you need to go. And since there is a little bit less room, you will be riding some of the lines to other riders and so on. But the vibe is a lot better than a little more less tense than last year. First morning, new zone, everyone's kind of like trying to find their lines and there's obviously like these few spots where it's like really good and everyone's kind of like battling for it. Brandon is going down there and then Aggie wants to be here. So I'm just gonna try to stay as high as I can up here. It just goes down straight, then there's this drop and then I'm just gonna try to get as much speed as I can. Day one of digging just started. We uh, have a few guys working at the line up top. Um, pretty much have everything above the canyon gap locked in. Gonna have a pretty big drop into something that seems impossible right now, but we're gonna have to chop those rocks down. 
That should give us more than enough speed for the canyon gap, I think. Right now, Zink and I are teaming up on this top part. The line we have on the top here is pretty gnarly. Um, as you can see, we're having trouble s sitting here, but it's pretty billy goaty into a uh, shoot into an almost a wall ride and turn out of it. Good? It's a big one. What's up? Big dog. There's lots of days left to dig. You don't want to die on the first one. The falling rocks. Major danger. Yeah, it's funny with like the building crew because it's like you're allowed to have three diggers, this and that, you know. I'm like, oh, all right. But I'm like from Spain, and I asked my friends, they're like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I got in contact with like some of the local guys. They were actually gonna help Logan. They're locals, the locals from here. And then Logan got hurt. I emailed Wakandagi, and he's like, yeah, man, I'd love to have you help me dig. Yeah, I got pretty much the biggest dude in the hill. It's just like. Hey man, I need a landing there. He just goes with the shovel and just digs it in like 10 seconds, and it's pretty sick. The reason I'm helping Andreo out is because I can't wait to see him hopefully take podium this year. We had to say no to a few people riding our line, but we had to change our line a little bit. But everything came together perfect and even better than I thought, so I'm pumped. After a big day of building, Tom heads out to get some time on his bike. He's had a long season on the sidelines with an injured shoulder. Straight like this first. We just taped my shoulder up. Feels pretty good. Not the best, obviously, but um, I'll just test it out. All the riders are here and everyone's just seshing around and loving it. It's a good place to warm up before you hit the site for sure. I didn't really feel good on my shoulder at all, so I should stick to normal jumps. Back at the campground, Andreu enjoys his new home away from home. I ended up buying a motorhome, and you know, I've been just getting a setup to like be comfy in the desert and stuff, and it's got a few years, but uh, it made it all the way from Nelson to Utah. This is it, man, the Rampage machine. Drives pretty good. Sleeping, driving, chilling, AC, little kitchen in here, pretty sick. It's uh, 87, so it's a couple years older than me. It's been super fun cruising around this thing. With practice postponed by one day due to weather, the riders take a much needed break from the desert's heat and unwind at their campsites. Both Andreo and Kyle are pre-qualified for Sunday's finals. But Tom will have to put his far from ideal training season behind him and throw it all on the line as this Friday is qualified for the Red Bull Rampage.